22. Is there no difference between waking and dream? Waking is long and dream is short. Other than this, there is no difference. Just as waking happenings seem real while awake, so do those in a dream while dreaming. In dream, the mind takes on another body. In both waking and dream states, thoughts, names, and forms occur simultaneously. 23. Is it any use reading books for those who long for liberation? All the texts say that in order to gain liberation, one should render the mind quiescent. Therefore, conclusive teaching is that the mind should be rendered quiescent. Once this has been understood, there is no need for endless reading. In order, in order to quiet the mind, one has only to inquire within oneself what one's self is. How could this search be done in books? One should know oneself with one's own eye of wisdom. The self is within the five sheets, but books are outside them. Since the self has to be inquired into by discarding the five sheets, it is futile to search for it in books. There will come a time when one will have to forget all that one has lived. 24. What is happiness? Happiness is the very nature of the self. Happiness and the self are not different. There is no happiness in any object of the world. We imagine through our ignorance that we derive happiness from objects. When the mind goes out, it experiences misery. In truth, when its desires are fulfilled, it returns to its own place and enjoys the happiness that is the self. Similarly, in the states of sleep, samadhi, and fainting, and when the object desired is obtained or the object disliked is removed, the mind becomes inward turned and enjoys pure self-happiness. Thus, the mind moves without rest alternately going out of the self and returning to it. Under the tree, the shade is pleasant. Out in the open, the heat is scorching. A person who has been going about in the sun feels cool when he reaches the shade. Someone who keeps on going from the shade into the sun and then back into the shade is a fool. A wise man stays permanently in the shade. Similarly, similarly, the mind of the one who knows the truth does not leave Brahman. The mind of the ignorant, on the contrary, resolves in the world, feeling miserable, and for a little time returns to Brahman to experience happiness. In fact, what is called the world is only thought. When the world disappears, i.e. when there is no thought, the mind experiences happiness. And when the world appears, it goes through misery. 25. What is wisdom insight? Jnana Drishti. 
Remaining quiet is what is called wisdom insight. To remain quiet is to resolve the mind in the self. Telepathy, knowing past, present, and future happenings, and clairvoyance do not constitute wisdom insight. 26. What is the real what is the relation between desirelessness and wisdom? Desirelessness is wisdom. The two are not different. They are the same. Desirelessness is refraining from turning the mind towards any object. Wisdom means the appearance of no object. In other words, not seeking what is other than the self is detachment or desirelessness. Not leaving the self is wisdom. 27. What is the difference between inquiry and meditation? Inquiry consists in retaining the mind in the self. Meditation consists in thinking that one's self is Brahman, existence, consciousness, bliss. 28. What is liberation? Inquiring into the nature of one's self that is in bondage and realizing one's true nature is liberation.